up guys? Uh, so today is not even gonna be the launch control because I already done that, but it's gonna be a zero to 60. Um, so how it works is actually really similar to what I showed in the launch control settings. So I'm gonna quickly show it to you right now. Okay, so right now, uh, you would basically scroll down to performance. Then you would click zero to 60. So once you do that, basically what it's saying right now is like it's waiting for you to move the car so it can like calculate uh, in how many seconds you can do 0 to 60 miles per hour. Um, it has a different feature where you can do a quarter mile, but uh, I mean the typical one is usually just 0 to 60. So today we're going to be doing that. Um, I'm really curious on what the numbers are for this because I, you know, I never done it before with the chip. But um, I'm gonna have to find an empty road first to do that, so let me find that real quick. So that is the zero to 60 guys. Um, I did like a few rounds so just to make sure that that's the four short seconds that I got with the zero to 60. So this is the result. I end up getting 7.0 seconds on zero to 60. Uh, that's actually not bad for like stock internals because literally the only thing that I did to the performance was run an access, obviously run an access port with the stage one 91 octane uh, like with the SF airbox, you know that off the shelf map that's already well, it's preloaded into the thing. But with that and the short, like short RAM intake with the SF airbox and the chip, just those are letting me run seven seconds on zero to 60. So that's actually not bad. Um, now I don't know if people with the same setup were able to maybe do a little bit faster than that. I'm not sure. It was my first time doing a zero to 60 on this car. So I'd say it's pretty good. Um, that's not bad. Like if I were to do, you know, future mods and other stuff for the performance, I'm pretty sure I can get maybe 6.8 or 6.7. But um, just running stock is seven seconds. So, all right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, I will be actually doing another video. I don't know when, but my friend Lewis was saying let's just do a video of his MR2 and my Subaru racing on a straightaway. Um, I'm down for that. I don't know when it'll be, but I'll let you guys know about that. So I'll catch you guys later and I'll keep you guys updated as always. See ya.